Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 7. Puzzles created by Italian puzzle creators, and this is Classic Sudoku 4, created by a puzzle creator called Non-Zero. This is a 35-point Classic Sudoku, so they're creeping up in difficulty. Well, apparently they are. Um, so far, I've been doing about the same period of time, but I'm also explaining a little less, as I'm hoping that you're watching through the series and getting a little bit more familiar with the tricks that I'm using, so I'm having to explain less as long as, but I'm going to continue to pencil mark and then eliminate down to make it easier to follow through all of these videos. Um, so yeah, classic Sudoku 4, um, 35 points. I don't think I have anything more to say apart from link to this puzzle below, link to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive below. Let's have a look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. That's it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. There's two fives looking at each other. So five has to go in one of those two. That five is looking up saying that's not the five. So this is a five. So we've got, no, it's not five is looking down. Um, five, I think I'm done on fives. Sixes can't be in any of those. So six is in one of those two. Sixes are in one of those two. Not, I'm having trouble selecting one of those two. Sixes is also in one of those two because of the two sixes looking up. And I kind of feel done on sixes. Three, ah, yep, yeah, three and three. This, the sixes have helped because three and three puts three in one of those two. This three looks up saying not there. So I've put three here, which has taken the pencil mark place of a six. So I can immediately write the six in, which is putting six in one of those two, but I've already got a six in column two. So that's a six, which puts six in one of those two. And these are the only remaining places on sixes, but these are like pointing at each other. If this is a six, this is a six, and this is a six. But if this is a six, this is a six, and this is a six, they, they don't resolve each other. Um, seven is in one of those two, so I can pencil mark in two places. This is a triple. I quite like marking triples. I find them, they help me find things. So these are two, four, and nine, and that didn't help me find anything at all, except for the fact that there's two, four, and nine in this column as well, and that can't be a two. Actually, there's a triple in this column, which is one, two, and five. Now there's no five there, there's no two there, but those cells are now important to me. Those cells are quite important to me. Right. I have no idea if I need to use this, but I've seen it, so I'm going to use it and I'm going to explain what I've seen. In this column, two can only go in one of those two cells. In this column, two can only go in one of those two cells. Now that means that um, if I was to place a two here, I could not place a two here and I would need to place it here to have a two in this column at all. If I was to place a two here, I could not place a two here and I would need to place a two here to have one in this column at all. This is what's called an X-wing. I didn't mention an X-wing in an earlier video, but I didn't need it. So I didn't explain it. Now I'm going to explain it. The other way of looking, so what that means is either two is in one of those two positions, because if I put a two here in, to have one in this column, it's there. And if I put a two here to have one in this column, I have to put it there. So there's either two in those positions, one line of the X, or two in these positions, the other line of the X. The other way of thinking about it is there are two um, columns which must contain twos in only two different rows. Row one and row nine only have two possible positions for two because I have to put um, them in column two and in column eight, I can only put twos in row one and row nine. So I can never put two into another spot into row one or row nine, because if I did, I would break the puzzle. How do I prove that? Well, what happens if I was to put a two here? Now it looks okay by Sudoku, like I'm not breaking any Sudoku, but now in this column, I would need to put two here. And in this column, I would need to put two here. And I've put two twos into row nine, which does break the rule of Sudoku. And the same is going to be true 
if I put two anywhere other than the yellow cells in these rows. If you're not really sure about that, when you get this puzzle to this point, play around with it and lock it into your mind. The X-Wing is probably the most basic, I'm going to say basic advanced technique, but it is the most basic extra trick beyond just pointing digits and everything that you'll come across in Sudoku, and you will come across a lot of them, and they help you a lot. So trying to understand this concept is pretty good. I've just given up a fair bit of my time to explain that, but I think it's worth it, because I can now see that 2 can't be in any of those cells, and this 2 is saying 2 is not in that cell. So this is a 2-7 pair, which means this is not a 2, and in fact this is a triple. 1, 2, 3, three, four, five, six, not seven, four, eight, and nine. And eight has to be in one of those two. Neat. But this maybe? Because these are one, four, seven, no, one, four, eight, and nine. These are one, four, eight, and nine. So this is only one or eight. And this sees one and eight. So this is only four and nine. Now two not being able to be in those cells doesn't help me much, but two not being able to be in those cells might. Maybe this two X-wing isn't helping me as much as I might've thought, but it did find this two seven pair. I don't know, maybe I've missed something else. Let's keep looking, shall we? Um, maybe I've kind of distracted myself from the flow of the puzzle again. This can't be a five because of this five and that's a one, two pair. So that's the five that probably would have prevented me. Oh, the X wing is still there. So now five is in one of those two. That five is looking down saying that's the five, which puts five in one of those two. That five says not there. So that's the five, which puts five in one of those two. That five looks down saying not there. So that's the five. And I think that's all the fives done. Okay. Oh, this is a seven by Sudoku. There's sevens looking in. So this is a seven. This is one, three, four, six. So this is only one or three because it can't be four or six. Hmm. Seven is in one of those, but that's not really that helpful. Um. Two is in one of those? No. Two can't be there or there. Two is in one of those three. Two can't be here because of the X-Wing. Two here is only in... Ah, where's two in this box? Two can't be here or here, and two can't be here because if I put two here, that would break the X-Wing. This is the two, meaning that's the one, that's the two, this is not the two, and the one makes that the eight, and that's the X-Wing resolved. Very nice. So, the two is now in one of those two by Sudoku. Didn't resolve this 4-9, but it did give me all the twos. This is also a 4-9, so this is the one that I haven't placed in the box. So these are two, four, and nine. There's no two there, so that's 4-9. So that's a four, eight, nine. So in this box, the only place I can put two is there. So this isn't two, which of course it's not. This is a four, nine pair looking down. So I can't put four, nine in any of those or those or here. So four, nine are in those cells. Maybe there's another X-wing going on, but I'm not sure about it yet. Two and seven are not, well, this is a two six pair. I, and it has been since the beginning. I could have used that. Two and six can't go in those cells. Two and six can't go in those cells and those are filled. This is a two six pair. 
It's an unresolved 2-6 pair, but it is a 2-6 pair. So these must take 3, 7, 8, 9. So 7 is now in one of those two. 3 is in one of those, 8 is in one of those, so this is only 7 or 9. And this is only 3 or 7. Hmm. Twixie. Seven is now in one of those two because the seven has to be in one of those two, so it can't be there. Seven's not here or here, so seven is in one of those two. This is another X wing on sevens, but those pencil marks will kind of just resolve each other. And this is also an X wing on sevens, but they'll resolve each other when I get one of them. I've got to put a four in one of those. Ah, I've got to put a four somewhere. This four is knocking four out of there. Four is in one of those, which is making that the nine and that the four, which is putting nine in one of those two. I'm enjoying this puzzle. It's a little bit tr trickier. There's a triple in row eight. One, three, s no, one, three. It's just one, two, three. And there's no two here. There's no three here. It's an eight in one of these. It's not there. There's an eight in one of those two. Four in this box has to be in one of those two because four looking down and four, well, those are full. So four is in one of those two. And the four looking across says, that's not the four, that's the four. So these are one, two, three, and eight. And that can't be three. That's one, two, or eight. And that's one, three, or eight. Eight is in one of those two. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on. Three is in one of those two, but again, not sure how to use it. Remster doesn't know how to use it. Nine is in one of those two. I can't put nine in any of those or any of those. Nine is in one of those two, putting nine in one of those two. But the four nine is looking down saying, that's not the nine. So that's the nine, which has taken the pencil mark place of a seven. So these digits are the one, two, and eight that have not been placed in this box. There's no eight there. There's no one there. That's the two. These become a one, eight pair. The two takes two out of there, which makes that the two. So this row is only, uh, the two looks back, making that the six and that the two, which makes that the seven and that the two. The seven means that's not the seven, so that's the nine, so this isn't the nine. But the only place left for seven in this box is here, and these are one and three. No, no, they're not one and three. I was thinking, hang on, that's broken because of this. There's a one right there. There's something about given digits that make them much harder to see. These are three and eight. So this now is four or nine. And there's a nine looking at it. So that's the four. This is not the four. I can use the four to look up, making that the nine and that the four. This column is only missing its six. So this is not the six. And this is also a one or three. The two says that's not a two. That two did the same. So this is one, three, or eight. Okay. So it's got to be box six now, doesn't it? One is not in any of those. So this is one, three, or eight. 
left for the row. Got to put, ah, oh, the seven. It says that's not the seven, so that is the seven. So this is now not a six because of that six. This is the six. This is one, three, eight for this row, which has given me a one, three, eight triple. So there's no eight here. This is a four, nine pair. Well, it's removed an eight pencil mark, making that the eight, the four, nine pair. But now with the one, three, eight, this has to be four or nine for the column. And the four makes that the nine, which makes that the four, which makes that the nine. This is not the nine. This is also one, three or eight, and there's no eight in it. So this is a one, three pair. This becomes the eight, taking eight out of those. Could have done that with that eight, didn't. One, two, three, this is the four, which is from row or box. And this four looks across making that the nine and that the four. Something. Something breaks this open. It's that eight looking across, making that the one, which looks back making that the three, which makes that the one, which makes that the three, which makes that the one, which looks back making that the three. This is not one or three, that's eight, which looks up making that the one, which makes that the eight. The eight looks across making that the three and that the eight, and the three looks across making that the one and that the three, and that is the correct solution. I am slow. Okay but I'm having fun and hopefully you are too. As long as you're having fun solving Sudoku, you're a champion. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're having a good time. And as always, good luck with your solving.